Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Christ-Centered Yoga with Christy. And this is a, a live class today. I'm excited that um, I have friends live today to practice with me. So welcome to you guys. Today is the, um, the, is the Monday of the first week in Advent, which is the four weeks before Christmas. This week, the theme of the Advent season is hope. So thinking about what hope is as opposed to maybe yearning or longing. So hope is something that we desire, but we also have an expectation that it actually could occur. We look forward to something, we're hoping something will happen and there's, there's that possibility out there that it maybe it will really happen, it, it could happen. It's always this light ahead of us. When you look at the concept of longing or yearning, um, it's something we deeply desire, but it's kind of nebulous. It's out there, we're thinking about it, we're kind of longing or yearning for something to happen, but it's not as hopeful as hope. We, we don't know that it's actually gonna happen. And also hope has something that longing and yearning doesn't have in that hope has God as its end. All the while that we're hoping, God has a plan. God is all knowing, loving, orchestrating. And scripture tells us to be expectant for the things that God will do as we hope. So with hope, there's an expectancy and we trust, we trust that God is always at work for our higher good. So that is what our week is about as we journey toward the manger. So go ahead and rest back on your mat in any way that's comfortable for you this morning. Maybe you'll have a towel or blanket underneath your head, maybe a pillow underneath your knees. Uh, noticing that your strap is handy. Oh, wait a minute, we don't need it now, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Whatever, we can get the strap later. So just get comfortable. So as you rest here, as always, we'll take a look around and see where we are. Where have you come to rest this morning? And then closing your eyes, beginning to listen. Notice what sounds you're hearing, maybe the wind outside. the sacred ordinary of noises in your home. Listen. And then becoming aware of the space where you rest. The air around you and that place where God lives and moves. God sees you, knows you, loves you, holds you this morning. And I invite you now to become aware of your body as you rest here. The back body settling in. Maybe notice your face releasing some tension. Your scalp. Your belly. And your legs. Your feet. And then bringing awareness to your breath gently, allowing your breath to move in and out, just watching it, coming in through your nose, out through your nose or your mouth, whatever feels comfortable. Life-giving breath this morning. Moving in, moving out. And I invite you as you're ready and you feel comfortable to lengthen out your inhale so that maybe your belly will expand, your heart will open. These are all very figurative. So I invite you to explore what an expansive inhale would feel like. 
and what a restful exhale would be like for you today. Just notice. And as you rest in your easy breath, I'll share with you our first scripture for this morning. And it's from Romans chapter 15, verse 13. May the God of all hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the God of all hope fill you with joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So noticing when you hear those words, hope, joy, peace, being filled with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit, as those words wash over you, how do they resonate within? Where do you feel the word hope in your body? Thinking the word hope, notice where you might notice it in your body, a feeling, a sensation. Maybe you'll notice a color. What would hope be in the spectrum of color? Can you feel that in your body? Breathing, breathing in hope. A sense of expectancy. Where do you feel it? God at work. Lord God, we give you thank, thanks today for hope, for your promise of joy and peace as we trust in you. So as we practice together, we embrace hope, knowing that in this moment, right now, you are orchestrating everything for our highest good as we look forward to following Jesus to the manger, as we look forward in hopeful expectation to his second coming when he will make all things right and there will be no more tears, no more mourning, no pain. We thank you that this hope is true and that your promises are real. We offer up this practice to you today for your glory, for our blessing, and that we might take your hope with us out into the world to be your light. In the name of the risen Christ, amen. So let's take a deep breath here and take your arms up over your head if you'd like, legs stretching out. Reach, reach, reach. And then resting your arms down by your side today, we're gonna move through a time of gentle body awareness, beginning with our feet. So I'm gonna take, we'll take our awareness down into our toes. And on your next inhale, spread the toes wide. Spread your toes out. And as you exhale, let your toes soften and rest. Notice your toes as you inhale, spreading out. And as you exhale, soften. Notice your toes, just notice. And then we'll squeeze them, like give them, make them like in a little toe fist, just squeeze your toes. And on your inhale, spread them out. Exhale, squeeze the toes in. And inhale, spread them out nice and wide. Feel the space in between your toes, creating space there and exhale and release. Notice the soles of your feet. And on our inhale, we'll press our heels out so the soles of our feet stretch. So we're flexing our ankles so the, the soles of our feet open up wide. And when you're ready, just pointing slowly through the feet and you can curl the toes again if you'd like. So we're gonna go back and forth and just open the soles of our feet. We're flexing and pointing through the toes. And just do that at your own pace. Feel the feet move back and forth, opening, breathing in any way that feels right to you right now. Just let it be. And then bring your feet to quiet. Feel the soles of your feet. that press into the earth as you walk, grounding you finding your sense of place. And then we'll circle out through your ankles one way or the other, whichever way feels right first. 
Breathe, send your breath down. Imagine the air that you breathe in moving down into your ankles and opening and other way. Ankles moving around. Maybe you'll hear some snaps, some crackles, some pops. That's okay, that's a good thing. And bring your feet to quiet. Now taking your awareness down from your feet, climbing up through your shins, just mentally noticing your shins as you move up, your calves as you move up your leg into your knees. And so from the knees, to become aware of the knees, we're going to draw the right knee into your chest and interlace fingers behind your right knee in a way that's comfortable for you. And we'll just juice up your knee here as we stretch the leg up, just gently, it doesn't have to be far, and then bend your knee again. So we're just gonna take this a few times, just lengthening your leg and then bending your knee. We're just coming to an awareness of your knee. Good, and now we'll press up one more time, press up through the sole of your foot and then flex and point through your foot again. Circle out the ankle both ways. And then press the sole of your foot up, take a breath. And then on your exhale, bend your knee in. And we'll place the sole of your right foot on the mat and draw in your left knee. Interlace your fingers behind your left knee. On your inhale, press the sole of your foot up. And exhale, bend in the knee. So it doesn't have to be um, a, a huge lengthening and releasing. It's just an awareness of the knee joint and giving thanks for those joints. Juicing them up a little bit, lubricating with the synovial fluid to get your body open, moving, just pressing out, bringing in. And then last time, press the sole of your foot up, flex and point through your foot and your ankle. And circling out through the ankle in one way. Good, and then the other way. Breathe, yes, there you are. And then come to center, press the sole of your foot up again. And then we'll bend the knee, take the left foot to the mat. So both knees are bent now. And take your awareness to your knees. Allow your awareness to slide down your thighs and through the backs of your legs, down to your hip sockets. And so as you send your awareness into your hips, we're gonna think about aligning your knees and your thighs with your hip, hip sockets or your hip bones. Let your hands rest by your side and focus on the hip socket now as you gently rock the knees back and forth. So we're just gonna take it very easy. Doesn't have to be big. We're just noticing the movement of the ball and socket. You know, you have your humerus bone that's planted in there in the cup of the hip socket and it's just rolling side to side. Everyone's is shaped a little bit differently. So maybe you'll meet an edge where somebody else might not. It's just your body moving, feeling. Good, good. And so come back to center and we'll widen your feet a little bit so that your feet are out toward the edge of your mat. And you may need to take your feet a little farther away from you. So let's spread the arms out a little bit wider and we'll drop the knees over to the right side. Maybe the left hip will lift up a little bit. Settle there for a second, take a breath. On your next inhale, your knees will come up through center and then exhale slowly to the left. Notice where this takes you and how it feels. Breathe, soften and come back to center and we'll pick up our feet. Take your hands on your knees, flex your feet, keep the soles of the feet awake and we'll do our little rowing motion through the hip sockets. So, the knees will spread out apart from each other. They'll rock away from you. Then come back together and draw back towards your chest. So nice circles right through the hip socket. So you're rowing that boat, just roll it around. Breathe and then we'll reverse it. So we're really taking the day to become aware of our bodies. So Hips are circling and then come back to center. 
And we'll take soles of the feet up, press up, support behind your legs. Allow your hips to be very settled into the mat. Flex and point a little bit more. Circle out your feet a little bit more and then bend your knees a little bit and we'll just shake out the legs, just shake them out. Breathe, just give them a good shake. Shake them out and then on your next inhale, press up. Exhale, draw your knees in and plant the soles of the feet on the floor. We'll take the right foot now. The right foot crosses over the left knee. Press your right thigh away from you a little bit. And then we'll just rock the knees side to side. Rock there. And we'll come back to center. And if it's comfortable for you, lift your left foot off the floor. Knee comes towards you as you either hold on to the outside of your knees or reach through your legs, pull them towards you. Breathe, just opening the hips a little bit. So notice the back of your hip, your glutes, your rear end. Your right hip might be singing here, so back off if you need to, but just notice. Breathe, feel, let your shoulders soften. And if you can, draw the left knee a little bit closer. And then we'll release the left foot to the mat and take the sole of the right foot up to the sky and slowly lower it down. So you're gonna lower the leg with strength as you press out through the sole of your right foot. And as the heel touches down, draw your right knee into your chest, catch it in your hands, pull it in, and then place the sole of your right foot on the mat. And then we'll take left ankle over the right knee. And we'll take our hand to the left Five, press it away from us a little bit. Just press away and then release. And press away a little bit here. So as you're ready, if you'd like, pick up your right foot, draw the right knee in towards you as you support either by your knees or reach between your legs, gather your fingers together behind your right thigh and pull towards you. So very easy here, maybe rocking side to side again if you'd like. Breathe. And then gently just noticing that the shoulders soften. Your face can soften. Hips settle. Your feet remain awake. So your feet are flexed just a little bit here. Notice your breath. Notice if you're ready to draw the right knee in a little bit. Closer, if you're not, that's okay. Just be where you need to be. Breathing here. And then releasing the right foot now to the mat. We'll take the left foot up to the sky on your inhale. Press it up. Take a breath here when you're ready and then lower the leg down with energy. You're energizing from the hip all the way up through the sole of your foot and then lowering your leg down with energy to the mat. Pressing out nice and easy. And as your heel meets the mat, draw the left knee in towards your chest, catch it in your hands, pull it towards you, and then release that foot down. So then we'll take our awareness now to our belly and our ribs and just take a deep breath in and allow your belly to expand into your hands. Take a breath here and let it out either through your nose or your mouth, whatever feels right. And let's take a big sigh in the next two breaths so we can really feel. So let's take a slow, deep breath in. Sigh it out. When you're ready, you can do that again. Belly expanding, exhale, let it go and feel the softness in your belly. So we'll move our awareness now up to the heart space, up to your solar plexus, right underneath the ribs where the sternum meets the belly, that place where the, the ribs meet in center. We'll take our arms up. So fingertips reaching to the sky. On your inhale, we'll open the arms wide, side to side, really feeling the expansion in the chest. 
So as you're resting here, when you're ready, take a breath in, reaching out side to side, open your heart, exhaling, draw your arms over your chest in a hug. And we'll inhale, this is hugging breath. We're just gonna open on the inhale, spread your arms wide, be mindful of your chest. And exhale, gathering in. So where are you feeling this? Notice on your inhale, as you spread out wide, notice where you feel this. On your exhale, as you gather your arms in, notice, are your shoulders tense? You need to settle them away from your ears. Is your face all hunched up and pinchy, just relaxing your face? On your inhale again, let's take arms out and hold and inhale. And exhale and rest here, noticing that the shoulder blades pour into the mat underneath. Fingertips reaching out side to side. Good, and now we'll take elbow to elbow. So we're gonna take hold of one elbow, other elbow, right and left holding. Soften your shoulders down and then begin to circle your elbows around from side to side over your head, big circles through the shoulder socket now. So we worked through the hips with the hip sockets. Now we're, we've worked our way up to the shoulders and reverse it. So take it other way. Breathing life, energy, health into the shoulders. A little space there working. Good, and come back to center and we'll take hold of the shoulder side to side. So now right hand on your left shoulder, left hand to your right shoulder and squeeze, give little squeezes all through your arm down to your elbow. Say hello to your elbow. Come down to your wrist, say hello to your wrist. And we'll interlace fingers here, turn your palms up, press up. So your palms, take the arms up over your head, let your shoulders relax, press up ahead, away from you above. Good. And then bring the elbows back down to the floor, keeping your hands off the floor and we'll circle through the wrists. And other way. Where do you feel this? How do your wrists feel today? And so now just gently making gentle fists and then spreading your fingers out wide. Make a fist, spread your fingers. Make a fist, spread your fingers out wide. And then we'll be touching our thumbs to our pinky fingers and then thumb to your ring finger, thumb to your middle finger as you keep pointing the other fingers out, thumb to your pointer finger and then spread out all your fingers. Good, and then make a gentle fist and relax. So now we'll bend at the elbow and we're just gonna circle the forearms around, just paying attention to your elbows and how they feel, creating space there. Breathe nice and gentle and easy. We're just allowing the, the breeze to just come through our whole body this morning. We've done everything from the, the toes to the ankles, to the knees, to the hips, to the belly, to the ribs, to the shoulders. And now we're doing elbows, we did wrists already. Ta-da, so here you are and let your hands rest. And we'll take our face to the right side. And then we'll come back to center. We'll take your face to the left. And then take your head back to center. And we'll take our hands, let's place the finger pads behind our necks. Give your neck a little massage all the way down toward the shoulders. Just massage out the very back of your head, the, the neck. So just be aware of your neck here. Holds up your head all day long. Give a little love here. And then we'll massage the ears. Take your ears, massage them inside and out. And we'll give the ears a little tug up toward the top of your head and out through the sides. And take your earlobes, draw them gently down towards your shoulders. And now last thing lying down, we're just gonna massage our scalp. So all around, give your scalp a good yummy massage there. Good, 
Very nice. And then smooth it out. And we'll roll over onto our side and rest here for a moment. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we've had a nice body massage. We've worked and worked and worked. And now you're just going to press up to sitting. So if you have a blanket or bolster, I'm going to grab my blanket here. You can perch up on your blanket for sitting. So this is a very yummy meditative time of year. It's contemplative. So we're gonna continue with our thoughts on hope for this season. So coming to a comfortable seat. If you have your towels or blankets or blocks handy, you can um, place them underneath your thighs for support. And if you're watching this on a recording and you don't have those things, you can press pause and go get yourself something to settle with. And if you're with me live now, just take whatever you have available. Maybe you can take your little doggy there, Lynn, uh, Kathy, <laughs> place your doggy under your hip. Probably like that. Anyway, crazy thought. There we go. So let's come back to center. We'll take our hands to the upper part of your thighs. Let your, the palms of your hands, the balls of your hands, wrist rest into the crease of your thigh. Spread your fingers in. Lift your shoulders up, spread your chest wide, release the shoulders. We'll take a breath in and allow your hands to run down your thighs to meet your knees so that you can be present to yourself. Soften the shoulders again, guiding your abdominal muscles in and lifting the heart. And if you're comfortable here, closing your eyes and coming back to your breath, very soft and gentle. Be aware of the breath moving in through your nose, out through your nose or your lips. And listening here. Just listen, breathe. Allowing yourself to gather into that center place within the heart. God's breath moving in. God present all around. How do you feel that in your body this morning? And I'll share with you now from the book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10. The book of Isaiah was written about 700 years before Jesus. So this is one of the prophetic verses that we honor during this Advent season. The book of Isaiah, chapter 11, verse 10. The root of Jesse will spring up, who will arise to rule over the nations. In him, the Gentiles will hope. The root of Jesse. Jesse was the father of David who is the ancestor of Jesus, the Christ, who we celebrate this season, the root of Jesse will spring up, who will arise to rule over all the nations. In him, the Gentiles will hope. So I invite you now, as you rest in your breath for just another moment, to picture the root, maybe the root of the vine that grows down into the ground, the vine grows up, who is Christ. Jesse is in that root, that root of David. David is born, the vine grows up and delivers Christ, who comes to rule over all the nations. And the Gentiles will find hope in him as we are the branches of the vine, Christ. Can you sense that in your body this morning? How does that look in your spirit? You are a part of that vine, a branch that comes forth to bear fruit in the world. And in Jesus, we hope, we find hope. So breathing here, 
and softly opening your eyes. We're gonna create space in our side bodies now as we take our arms up, reach way up over your head. Palms touch and exhale, take your hands down beside you. On your next inhale, right palm comes up and exhale over to the side. So you're really pressing the side body out, pressing down through this opposite hip, reaching out long. Maybe you'll feel it in your ribs, open up. And on your next inhale, come up center, float over, and that other arm comes up, exhale to the other side, grounding through your left hip now, pressing out. Your head stays in line with your neck there and your spine without just dropping it. You just wanna keep everything in alignment. And we'll take it on the breath now, inhaling up through center, exhale, come over, press through. When you're ready for an inhale, come up, suspend and exhale over. Inhale up, over. And last time coming up and come through center, take both palms up, touch and center, lower through and rest your fingertips on your forehead as you take a moment to invite God's presence into your thoughts, thoughts of hope in this season. We really need hope now, right? We're looking down that to that bright light of hope in our minds. Take your fingertips to your mouth as we speak words of hope in this season and thumbs to the heart as we open our fingers here, gathering in and inviting hope to come into the heart space. Breathe, breathing in hope today. And then we'll take palms together and come around to all fours. So if you'd like to take your blanket under your knees, again, for all fours, if you have some cranky knees, little tender knees today, take the blanket there. And we'll come to all fours for a little cat cow here. So come to table. With a stable belly, nice and toned in there. And we'll spread your fingers comfortably wide. Take an inhale up into cow. Take an exhale round the hips under. Curl your spine up. Exhale into cat. And inhale, lengthen cow here. Ooh, stretch out your belly. Exhale, rounding the hips under. Curl. Spine rounds and inhale when you're ready. So just take this at your own pace. And exhale, rounding again. So back and forth between cat and cow. Oh, looking ahead on your cow, just seeing that the year coming ahead of us, 2021 is coming. And exhaling when you're ready and rounding, enjoying. Mm, just enjoying the openness of your back. And we'll inhale forward once again. And where are we now? Exhale into child's pose. So press back into child's pose. Take your hands by your heels. And resting your head down, your forehead on the, the mat, if that's accessible, or a pillow. We'll just take a moment here to gather in and settle. Taking once again in those thoughts of hope as we gather into the Christmas season of Advent. Hmm, gathering into quiet, darker spaces these days. And then coming up to all fours, we're gonna come up, we're gonna do a little flow here. So walk your hands forward a little bit ahead and we're going to shift forward. So you might need to really um, gather in the lower abdominal so that you can shift forward into a modified plank. You'll notice that your butt isn't up in the air, it's in and forward, so you have a long spine. We're gonna do a little push up here. Press down, press up, curl back under, come back to child's pose. And so staying in your cat tilt, you're gonna curl your hips under into cat while you're down here still. Come on up, rise up through cat, 
press forward into your modified plank. Keep your elbows gathered in, tummy in, little push up, press up, curl back into child's pose. So we'll take that a couple more times on your inhale, pressing up, pushing through, draw your shoulders away from your ears, broad chest, down and up. One more time, press back to child's pose, working a little upper body here today. Round up, press through, long back and modified plank, down into cat bow, come up, and then press back to child's pose. Take a rest, take your hands by your heels, soften there. Good. Circle out your wrists a little bit, maybe shake them out, maybe put them on your lower back. Move them around a little. Good, and then coming up to all fours once again. So coming to table, find your right shin and just cock it out to the side like a kickstand. We're gonna do a little modified plank here today. So take the right shin out beside you. What's gonna happen here is you'll um, send your weight into your right palm, take your left leg out behind you and then rock the hips up. So you're gonna stack your hips. Your left hand will come up and bring you up to the side. So this is our modified plank. A little more strengthening for the arms, a little engagement of the belly here. Reach up, long arm energy reaching out from the heart end to end. Take a breath here. Good, on your next tail, float that arm down, come back to center. Maybe wag your tail a little bit. See how you're feeling. And we're gonna go the other way. I'm gonna turn around so I don't have my rear end to you this morning. You don't have to do that. So this time we'll come to all fours, take the left shin out to the side. Right leg comes out behind for support. And then you're just going to rock your hip, your right hip up, come up to the top and press out. So your hip should be, your foot should be in alignment with your hip. Open through your heart, reach up, breathe. Lots of energy here, reaching up, strengthening your arm. Take a breath and then exhale, hand comes down. Come back to all fours and press back to child's pose again. Very good. Yes, 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 yes. Press it back. And then up to all fours again. Let's take the right foot ahead. We're just gonna do some easy lunges back and forth to wake up the hip flexors, get a little opening in the fronts of our legs. So coming to a forward lunge here, you can take blocks if you have them or just um, Spider-Man your fingers on the floor. Um, settling through the hips, uh, square it off. We're gonna press through, inhale here. And exhale, just simply shifting back, toes come up. Make sure you're not hiking your right hip up. You wanna press it away from your rib cage. Toes come up and forward. So in this season of Advent, because, I don't know, in this season, maybe we won't be quite as frantic or hectic as we usually are, but I'm just gonna to try to keep our practices very low key and easy. So just the, so that you can come home to yourself and find some quiet, come home to your body as you're pressing back and forth. Good, so press up, take the toes up. Last time and then take toes down, take your leg back and you can kind of wag your tail a little bit, straighten out again and we'll take other foot up. So left foot comes ahead, find your lunge easy. Make it nice and easy, but notice that you'll find some opening in the back thigh. Look up. Ah, feels good. I need to squirm around a little bit. And then back. So anytime we do these things, if you feel a place on your body where you, you need a little bit more love, a little bit more attention, a little, little squirm, just take it. Don't mind me, go about your own business. Just do what you need to do, come forward. So we're just gonna sail back and forth. Now I'm gonna be quiet, believe it or not, and we're gonna shift back and forth. So take it at your own pace, okay? Here we go. Nice 
So maybe as you move back and forth, you'll begin to notice a sweet rhythm, a little more opening, a flow. That's what we're shooting for here is just a nice flow back and forth. Good, and then we'll take this foot back, wag the tail a little, maybe do a little cat-cow to get back in alignment. And from here, we're gonna move on to our bellies. So if you have a blanket on, you can take it off. Come down to laying on your tummy. And we're just gonna do a little, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just looking at my cheat sheet. Just take a breath. Anyway, so come down to lying on your tummy. So you have your hands be, uh, by your shoulders. Okay, so take your forehead. I'm gonna sit up so I can talk. You can hear me. So take your forehead down to the mat. You're gonna tuck your chin a little bit so your hands are now under the shoulders, forehead to the mat. We're gonna do a little cobra flow up and down. Before we do that, let's make sure that your shoulders are broad and pressed away back from your ears. Guide your awareness now down into your abdominal muscles. You want to engage them so that when you lift your upper back, you have some support in your, in your spine. You don't, in your belly, you don't want to arch the lower back and press into it and crunch into it. You want an engagement of your abdominal muscles. And even though I don't like to say tuck your tail, don't really tuck it, but just have that sense of a gentle scooping under an engagement of the deep abdominal muscles there as you reach out strongly behind you through your toes. So everything's kind of engaged here. Now on your inhale, you're gonna stay here on your inhale. On your exhale, glide your heart away from your belly button and you're gonna just lift your upper back. You don't have to come up very far and your exhale will take you down. So does that make sense? We're gonna take a gentle, an inhale here. See, I'm, le I'm lengthening out through my legs, got my tummy engaged, inhale. You're just lifting your upper back so your, your gaze can go a little ahead of you and you're not pressing into your hand. You're just lifting the upper back and then down. On your inhale here, exhale lift. An exhale will help you lengthen. And inhale down. And exhale up, inhale down, exhale come up, and inhale down. And this next time, we're going to stay up a little bit. So we'll just take about three breaths here, lengthen. So if you're hurting in your lower back, you need to lower down a little bit, lower your chest, tuck your tail a little bit more, draw your belly in. And now let's take our hands to the mat, press up gently to all fours. Don't go all the way back to child's pose yet. We're going to wag your tail to the right, wag your tail to the left, and then press back gently into child's pose. And now coming forward, we're just gonna do a resting cobra. This is like a restorative cobra. If you have lower back issues, you might wanna take a blanket, put it down under your tummy, so you have a little bit of support under here. But resting down, I'm gonna ask you to just let your forehead rest on your hands, stack your hands, and let your forehead rest. So you're just gonna rest on your tummy, basically in any way that's comfortable for you. Easy breath. So while you're here, I'm gonna do a reading for us. So Make yourself comfortable on your tummy. If you're not comfortable on your tummy, I'm gonna invite you to just roll over onto your side, whatever way, whatever feels best for you. So our next reading from today is from 1 Peter. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is 
being ready to be revealed in the last time. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus. It's an inheritance that can never, can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. Kept in heaven for you. Whoo, Lordy. Sounds good to me. Hallelujah. Hope. Yes. So you're on your tummy. Let's come on up to all fours. We're going to tuck our toes, press back to downward facing dog and tread out our feet. One heel, other heel, nice and slow. Both heels. Take your time in your down dog. You can let your shoulders press away from your ears. If you'd like a little more here, you can take your right leg Right leg up, press it way up behind you, lift it up. If you want to open that right thigh into joyful pose, you can take the right, bend the right knee and really open in the hip. Breathe. Straighten that back leg out, press out through your heel. Good. If you need to go to child's pose, please go to child's pose. And take that foot down. And then we'll take the other side. Take the left foot up, press back. And if you'd like to go farther, you can open the hip, reach your leg up a little bit more, I'm talking to you upside down. Going to bend that top knee, press out, breathe. Easy, deep breaths here. Stretch out the top leg, stretch it out, and then lower your leg. If you're in child's pose, you can come back to down dog for just a moment and press out. And then take your knees to the mat and come to sitting. We're going to lie on our side here. So you're going to lie down on one side. We're going to do a sideline twist to end up today. So coming onto one side, we'll take um, <laughs> one arm up under your head for support. The other arm comes out in front. And we'll just, so make sure your, your hips are stacked. On your inhale, you'll float your top arm up to the sky. On your exhale, you're just gonna roll on back to wherever you're comfortable. You don't have to go all the way back, just an easy twist. Coming back, letting your, your skull kind of wrap back into your open hand. And stay here, take a little breath. Really allowing the chest to open here. Breathe. On your next inhale, come up through center. And your exhale will take you back down. So we'll do this a few times. Inhaling, lift. Exhaling over, open your chest. Stay here on your inhale. And then exhale all the way back to the start. Do this one more time. Inhale, lift, float your arm up. Exhale, open. Stay for your inhale. And exhale to close. And just rest here a moment. And as you're ready, make your way over to the other side. So we'll stack our hips on the other side. Remember your, your elbow comes up underneath your head for support as your opposite arm extends from the shoulder here, that's your hand is on the floor. So take a moment once you get down there to feel your entire side body supported by the ground. Get your hips stacked. And arm is out. So see where you are. Just notice how your body feels here. On your inhale, when you're ready, arm floats up. Exhale, just rolling the chest back. Good. And then just kind of hang there. Let yourself find a comfortable, comfortable spot here for your chest to broaden. Might feel your spine spiraling a little bit here. It's not a deep twist. Mostly, it mostly opens your chest here. So breathing.
And when you're ready on your exhale, coming up and over, taking your hand back to where you started. So let's do this on the breath. So your inhale will float your arm up to the sky, fingertips reach up, your exhale blossoms the chest open. Take a breath, your inhale is while you're resting back and your exhale will take you all the way up and back. You might feel your abdominal muscles gathering in as you're there. Inhale, reach. Exhale, open. Stay for your inhale. And allow your exhale to draw you over. And we'll do that one more time. When you're ready, take your inhale, arm floats up. Really reaching up from the, the heart all the way up through your arm, out the fingertips, exhaling over. Inhaling here and noticing the openness of the chest. Exhale, bring yourself back to the beginning. So you can stay there, resting on your side for a moment as I read you another translation of that scripture from 1 Peter. This is from the message. What a God we have and how fortunate we are to have him, this father of our master, Jesus. Because Jesus was raised from the dead, we've been given a brand new life and have everything to live for, including a future in heaven. And the future starts now. God is keeping careful watch over us and the future. The day is coming when you'll have it all life healed and whole Whew. wow let that sink in for a moment the day is coming when you'll have it all he is watching over us now and in the future good and so from here let's find your strap and we'll lie back just to stretch out the legs a little bit more and we'll move into shavasana so coming on to our backs, let's take our strap and you can draw your knees in first and rock side to side. Breathe. And coming home to center, let your feet rest on the mat. Take your strap or your hands <laughs> or your sash or whatever you might have. You can draw your right knee up and your strap will go around the sole of your right foot. Now, if you don't have a strap or a sash, and if you're watching on a recording, you can po um, pause and go get one. If you're live now and you don't have this, let's just take our hands around the back of our thigh, interlace the fingers for support so that you can rest your leg into your hands and have something there to allow you to work with the sensations in your leg. So we're going to press up as best you can. If your hands are on the strap or sash, you're going to just allow the shoulder blades to settle into the mat. Press up. We'll all press up through our heels. Take a breath. Maybe rock your neck side to side, your head back and forth a little to ease out your neck. And just notice where your range of motion is now. So taking the foot, the leg towards you. If you would like, you can stretch out the opposite leg, left leg on the mat, which will give you a little bit more. Breathe. Good. And now we'll take both ends of the strap in your right hand. Your left hand will come down beside you. If you don't have a strap, support the outside of your right thigh with your hand as the leg comes out to the side. So you don't want to just leave it out there hanging. You want a little support either by your strap or your hand underneath the outside of your thigh. So if you have your strap in your right hand, your left arm can reach out the opposite side. Let your shoulders soften, let your face be easy. And then we'll draw a leg up to center, change hands on the strap and drape your whole leg across the midline. So we don't let the right hip come up, we keep it grounded. If you don't have a strap, you can take your left hand to the inner thigh or knee on your right side and just support there. Breathe, press, and come back to center. And we'll take 
both feet up or both feet in the strap. Press up. And let's take the right foot out now and place the right foot on the mat. Right knee is bent as you press up through the left foot. So you either have the strap or your hands are interlaced behind your left thigh. Shoulders are broad. Oh, such a good breath here. Easy breath. Come home to yourself, come home to the sound of your breath, moving in and out. And then we'll take both ends of the strap in your left hand, let your right hand come out beside if you're using your strap or take your left hand to the outside of your leg as you allow the leg to open to the left side. So again, if you'd like to lengthen out your right leg on the floor, please do that. Making sure both hips are level, your hips are grounded. And on your inhale, take your leg up through center, change hands on the strap or support the inner thigh on your left leg there. Press out to the side. So you're on the diagonal, your left hip is grounded and you're just allowing that leg to drape across. Where do you feel it? It might be around your knee, it might be up the right, the outside of your left thigh. Soften your shoulders, your face. And then draw your leg back up to center, take both feet up one more time as you press the soles of your feet up. Take a breath. Spread your toes and on your exhale, bend your knees and release your strap down beside you. You can rock side to side. And we'll lower our feet to the mat and then stretch out one leg, other leg toward the corners of your mat so that your legs can fully sprawl out there with the complete weight of your legs settling to the floor. We're moving into Shavasana now. So if you'd like to gather up a pillow or blanket to roll up and put underneath your knees, please do that. If you need a blanket under your head or a pillow, please take that. But take a moment and, and get yourself situated here so that you can rest. Notice what your body's asking for. If it's asking for a little twist, a little breath, whatever you need, just take that so that you can rest back fully. Resting back now, if you're comfortable closing your eyes, close your eyes and notice how your body feels as you're settling into the support of the mat underneath. Notice a sense of ease in your feet, your toes, your ankles. Notice your hips settling down. So if you notice any tension in your hips, begin to release that tension now. Maybe as you take in your breath, you can think of your easy, soft breath filtering down through your body and filling up the legs, your feet, all through your belly. And as you exhale, letting your body settle even further. Shoulders are soft. Arms are resting, maybe a little away from your body, palms up, maybe hands on your belly. And softening your neck, your throat, and your face. Take a moment to settle in and really notice what sensations you have in your body now. Notice the breath moving in, breath moving out. And with each breath, 
I'm gonna invite you to connect with a very quiet place in center. Breath coming in, as your breath comes out, settling into a place in the heart that is really like a little shrine. It's a little, it's just a place where maybe you could see one single flame burning brightly that never goes out. The flame is always there as God rests there, his breath feeding that flame, keeping it alive within you, no matter where you go, no matter what you do. That place within is constant, always there waiting for your awareness, for you to listen, and as you rest in this quiet sanctuary, with that single flame burning, I'll share with you from Hebrews 6.19. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. It enters the inner sanctuary behind the curtain. The inner sanctuary behind the curtain. As you envision this place of sweet sanctuary with one solitary flame burning, a Father, Son, Holy Spirit within, hope, always present. So I invite you now to just rest for these few moments in quiet, noticing where you sense hope in your body, connecting with that sweet flame, and resting there. Coming back now to a gentle awareness of your breath, moving in and out. Coming back to an awareness of what you're hearing. And opening eyes softly to become aware of your surroundings once again. And if you'd like circling out wrists, ankles, taking a big wake up stretch in whatever way your body is asking. And as you're ready, guiding knees to chest, if it's comfortable for you rocking out your back side to side and making your way over onto your side to close our class today. Resting there for a moment. And when you're ready, pressing up slowly to sitting. And as we make our way to sitting, we'll take hands to heart. Mm, Father of lights, there is no change in you like shifting shadows. Every good gift is from you. We thank you for your faithfulness every morning that your mercies are new and in that we have hope. Thank you for the season where we can stop and remember the miracle of your birth as we wait and hope for your second coming. Until then, may we love our neighbors as ourselves 
and be your voice, your hands, your heart, your feet in the world. We thank you and praise you in Christ's name. Amen. Thank you all for practicing with me today. Shalom. So see you next week for our second week of Advent. Thank you for coming.